This is CTV News, made for students, by students. Tonight, the men's basketball team is searching for their dancing shoes. Gotta dust them off as they enter the conference tournament on Thursday. And our Kayla Ertl sits down with members of the golf team to discuss the upcoming season. And CTV, CTV gives you an inside look of Elijah Bluesmith's house crib style. Pay attention, fools, because CTV starts right, right now. now. Tonight, we are young and will set your TV on fire with some hot sport topics. I am Ryan Green. And I'm Ryan Hellman. And Ryan, what size are your dancing shoes? We're looking at about 10 and a half right now. 10 and a half. What about you? We're going dancing. Oh, we're boy. going dancing. We're I going dancing. So. Speaking of March Madness, it has arrived, and this year it's creating more of a buzz than usual around campus, with the men's basketball team grabbing its first road victory in conference play this past Saturday. ESPN bracketologist Joe Lenardi has moved CSU off the bubble and in the tournament as a 12 seed, playing number five, Louisville Cardinals. Here's a look at the projected region, including CSU. Let's take a look at this bad boy. Ryan, what do you love about most about this? I love that we're a 12 seed. That's a lot higher than I thought we would get, but I think we need to get some wins in the uh, Mountain West tournament, and I would love to be sitting at the 11 seed instead of 12 yes. seed. Rather be playing Gonzaga instead of Louisville. I think Gonzaga is a little uh, softer than Louisville. Louisville is big, so um, I would right. rather be 11. Possible sweet, sweet 16. You yeah. could face Denver. A lot of things have to happen. That would happen. be wild. Yeah, DU has to do a lot, and CSU has to do a lot to get sweet 16, but for the two Colorado teams to possibly play each other, that would be pretty cool. be very cool. A lot can still change this week before Selection Sunday, with conference tournament play starting and a win for CSU over TSU, TCU remains a must as the Rams try to go to the tournament for the first time since 2003-04 season when they face the Duke Blue Devils. Mm -hmm. Now we all know that the CSU football team did not do as well as we had hoped last year, and now Coach Mack is asking CSU students to help improve the team. CTV's Scott Houston has the story. Last week when Coach Mack opened up spring practices, he noticed a big hole in his roster, specifically at offensive linemen. So Coach Mack put out a call to all CSU big men to come try out for this year's team. Last year was plagued by injuries for the Rams, the big one to star linebacker Michael Sisson, but they continued through the rest of the season, hitting Gilmore and a lot of the offensive line. With some of those injuries still affecting the line, Coach Mack has asked for more walk-ons this season. Derek Good was one of the standout walk-ons for CSU, a great kicker turner and third down back known for his speed. But walk-ons stretch to other CSU programs. Star point guard Dorian Green has started every game since his freshman year and is now one of the most vital pieces to the team. Senior guard Kaipo Sabas is also a walk-on that has had great success here at CSU. Hopefully Coach Mack can get these walk-ons and return the Rams to the success it has had in the past. Scott Houston, CTV Sports. All right, thank you, Scott. Now, Coach Mack said he wanted size for this year's team. Hellman, I guess he was not kidding. You bet you <laughs> The CSU football team has finally published their 2012 schedule and looks like Coach Mack's squad could have a strong showing in their first year. Let's look at this. Ryan, we should win these first four games. Looking at them, we should be 4-0, but you never know. You know, we've been 3-0 the past three years, and so um, looking at this schedule, yeah, we should. We, it looks like an easy start. You know, CU will probably be the biggest game of that, that yep. first five-game stretch, uh, but it's the second five-game stretch that I'm interested about. you got Fresno State at the top, San Diego State, Hawaii, Wyoming, and UNLV, all teams that I believe are at the same level we are right now, so that'll yep. be a good, uh, you know, mm -hmm. me measure of where Ending we are. Ending the season with Boise State and oh, New yeah. Mexico. Blue turf. Blue turf. Got to love it. Oh, yeah. Alrighty, up next, Kayla Erta will be in the studio with two CSU golfers. Packers. Vikings. Red State. Blue State. We come from different places. Uptown. But Down. when we live united, we create real lasting change in the education, income, and health of our live country. United. Real change won't happen without you. So give, advocate, volunteer, live united. Sign up at liveunited.org. The CSU men's golf team is one of the most underrated teams here in the fort. Not only did the Rams make it to the national tournament last year, which features the top 30 teams in the country, many former players have gone professional after their time at CSU. I'm joined by two current members of the CSU golf team, Michael Wirtz and Sakai Brown, and they are ready to move up on the national rankings this year. 
but you guys sure do know how to kick off your season, right? You guys started your season in Oahu, Hawaii, your first tournament, the John A. Burns Intercollegiate, where you guys finished seventh place overall. So let's just talk about what it was like playing in Hawaii. I'm sure it was awesome. Yeah, it was really great. We got to get out of the cold weather and get out and play outdoors, and it was about 80 degrees every day, and it was just perfect, so it was awesome. Uh, being my second time there, uh, I felt comfortable, and uh, the weather was amazing, and didn't want to leave to come back to Fort Collins, where it was like a couple inches of snow, which was terrible, but we, uh, we played pretty well. All right, and Zakai, you played in the U.S. Amateur Championship last August, and you know that is the biggest event for amateurs out there there is in golf. So talk about that experience, your nerves, and you know how you finished in that. Uh, I felt pretty prepared. I, I wanted to play pretty well. Um, I played freshman year at the U.S. Amateur and didn't play as well as I wanted, so I felt pretty prepared coming into it, and uh, I uh, finished 12th going into the seeding round and lost uh, on the last hole in my first match, which was a bummer, but it was a great experience and got my name out there. All right, and Mike, you transferred from Iowa State, and your coach, Jamie Bermel, he was also a coach at Iowa State. So how much of an influence was he on your transfer, and what kind of relationship do you guys have with him? Uh, he was actually a huge influence because he, he was one of the only coaches that really contacted me because it was because I was a se I'm a senior and it's pretty unique for a senior to transfer for his last year but I've gotten to know coach really well and he's a great great guy and uh, he's helped me a lot so uh, coach has been a big influence on my game and uh, he's a big reason that I came to CSU in the first place all right and I've been out to your guys practice facility Harmony Country Club and it is awesome I'm so jealous that you guys to get to play there every day but um, let's talk a little bit about the Ram Masters who donate to your program and they believe in you guys more than anyone else so talk about their influence on your team also uh, the Ram Masters they're a big influence on our program being that they helps uh, fund our, our way to events like Hawaii and Japan two years ago which is a great experience and be able to travel. And uh, also, if you want to play aspiring professional, they help fund your, uh, your needs when you turn pro. Okay, and the final question. You guys are traveling to Florida next weekend for another tournament on spring break. What are you guys doing to get prepared for that, and what are your goals for the tournament? Uh, well, the weather's gotten better, so we've gotten to play outside a lot more. And uh, I think our goal overall, as it always usually is, is try to win the golf tournament. So uh, we're just looking forward to getting to go down to Florida and spending a week down there. So. Um, I played in the event two years ago and feel pretty prepared and I believe all the other guys will be being match play and it's a great event and uh, hopefully we can contend like we did uh, two years ago. All right, well good luck to you guys next week and we are going to take a quick break but don't go anywhere, CTV Sports will be right back. If you're looking for a new pet, consider adopting from a shelter. Shelters are full of healthy and loving pets, eager to become a part of your family. To find out more, you can visit the shelterpetproject.org. All right, well, now we are going to take you into a brand new segment we like to call To the House, where we go to Elijah Bluesmith's house and see what he's living like at the college level. Hey, everybody. I'm Elijah Drew Smith, former defensive back from Colorado State University. And this is my career. Alright y'all, well, welcome to the first room of the house. See, we got some studying going on. I think my roommate's studying for a test he has coming up. We also got some Aladdin playing, because you know you can't never get enough of Disney movies. And you know, that's some good stuff. And also, we got the rock band going. I mean, this is pretty much it, simple. All right, everybody, well, here's our kitchen. Not too big, you know, not too shabby. You know, we like to uh, cook, as you can see, we got some stuff here on the stove. I think I made some spaghetti earlier. It's pretty good, just to keep me over for lunchtime. We also got our collections of whatever these kids drink, but um, I'm an athlete, you know, I watch my figures, so I can't be doing that kind of stuff right there. But, you know, they keep it, they keep it, they keep their records of what they accomplish. So, you know, that's good for them. Uh, <laughs> got the fridge. 
I don't know if you can see too much of that. Just stuff, usually stuff to keep us over. That's about it. Yeah. All right, y'all, let's head down to downstairs now. Fun part of the house. What really makes it my favorite is, of course, this big screen that we have. <laughs> All right, here we got the PlayStation 3, also the N64, which is a good time always, Mario Kart. I feel like you ever get enough of that. <laughs> All right, well, you know, like they say, this is where the magic happens right here. Fortunately for me, I got two spots. I got a couch and a bed. You know, it's a beautiful thing. And uh, this is it. You know, I uh, got my clothes everywhere down there. I have a array of shoes under the bed. <laughs> also, we have the closet. Not too much, you know, just simple. Some jeans, some hoodies, and some shirts and stuff just to get me through the day, and uh, that's pretty much all I got. All right, you guys, well, you've seen my house, seen everything I had to offer, so y'all better get out of here before I stick the guard dogs on you. All right, later. <laughs> pretty have to do that one again. <laughs> That was funny. You know, Hillman, I went on that shot or on that shoot and it was really fun. Elijah is one funny guy. Yeah, he looks funny. His uh -huh. house looks pretty cool too. Yeah, it was a very cool house, but uh, I think CSU football is going to miss him a little at defense. Yes, he was a stud back in the secondary. That's oh, yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. All right, you've seen his house. You watched our show, but we're not kicking you out just yet. That's right. It's uh, March Madness time. And if you want to follow all of that madness and CSU, follow us on Twitter at CTV Sports Show. And always like the Facebook page. We'll keep you updated on all of that Rams action. But now Haley Pennington joins us with an update on the weather. Miss Pennington, take it away. Thanks, Green. First off, what a gorgeous weekend we had this past weekend with sunny, clear skies. Highs going all the way up to the 50s. Spring break is slowly approaching, so let's see what's in store for us. Here is your seven-day forecast. Tuesday is going to be another perfect day, so leave your huge winter jackets and gloves at home because it's going to be a high of 66 degrees. But don't get too excited because these high temperatures will not last long. Wednesday and Thursday has a chance of snow flurries, highs going up to upper 40s, lows being in the 20s. But the start of your spring break is looking good with sunny skies going into the 50s. A perfect weekend to take a stroll to Old Town or a drive to Horsetooth. And that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching CTV and have a safe and fun spring break. See you in two weeks.